Greetings. Uh, let us talk about the anatomy of the rectum and anal canal. So here is a, an image of the colon and rectum. And uh, let us talk about the detailed anatomy of rectum. So rectum, sigmoid colon enters the rectum and rectum empties its contents through the anal canal. One important structure that we should keep in mind is the peritoneal reflection which covers the upper half of the rectum and the lower half of the rectum is below the peritoneal reflection. Uh, why is this important? If there were to be any perforation of the rectum, especially in the lower half, that is below the peritoneal reflection, then that perforation does not lead to free peritoneal contamination. So these wounds can be managed uh, conservatively. On the other hand, if a perforation were to happen above the peritoneal reflection, it could lead to peritonitis and would require emergency intervention. So that is important to keep in mind about peritoneal reflection and whether something happened above or below the peritoneal reflection. The next important landmark is dentate line. A dentate line separates the rectum from the anal canal. And the lower portion is the anal verge. Anal canal is lined by squamous epithelium. It has a very rich vascular and neural supply. In contrast, rectum, like the colon, is lined by columnar mucosa, and unlike the anal canal, rectum doesn't have the same sensation, like pain sensation, when it gets irritated. Lesions in the rectum are painful. Let us talk about hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids above the dentate line are known as internal hemorrhoids and those that are outside the anal verge and in the anal canal are called as external hemorrhoids. When we manage hemorrhoids with the banding, we try to put the band above the dentate line so that the patient doesn't have any pain with that band ligation. Putting a band below the dentate canal can cause severe pain and discomfort. There are three rectal valves, otherwise known as valves of Houston. Inferior rectal valve of Houston, middle rectal valve of Houston, and superior rectal valve of Houston. And when we describe a lesion, we try to describe the location of the lesion and also in relation to the valves. The rectum is about 15 to 17 centimeters in length. And uh, let us look at uh, the different structures in this 15 to 17 centimeter segment of the rectum. As we know, 
the sigmoid colon enters the rectum and the anal verge is about a centimeter once you open the buttocks and about three to four centimeters is the dentate line inferior valve of Houston about five centimeters from the anal verge middle valve of the Houston about eight centimeters and about 10 to 11 centimeters the superior valve of Houston and as you go up around 15 centimeters the red rectum turns to sigmoid colon otherwise known as recto sigmoid colon so this is these measurements are uh, uh, seen in an average uh, height individual but these measurements can vary depend upon, depending upon the height of that individual and the length of the rectum I hope this is useful. Thank you.